Isaiah Briscoe, I'm from Newark, New Jersey, and I go to Roselle Catholic High School. Being from Newark, New Jersey, you know, or New Jersey, or like the metropolitan area of New York, you know, a whole lot of great guards, and you know, it's just, you know, they love to compete, and that, that's pretty much the nature of my game. You know, I love to compete, I'm a competitor, so you know, just growing up in New York, New Jersey, that's one thing you gotta learn, is to compete. I don't remember how old I was when I first started playing basketball, but I just remember when my dad put the ball in my crib, you know, I just always had the ball in my hand, even when I was younger growing up, I used to always dribble the basketball. I mean, I always, I always knew that I was going to be good, but I mean, like, even like now, today, I just think, okay, a day closer to, to making my dream come reality. Every day, just a day closer and a day closer. I'm Malik Beasley. I go to St. Francis, going to Florida State next year. Just being able to be here is the best part. Um, not that many people get a chance to be here. When I first started playing basketball, I was four years old. I played on, for the YMCA teams. I was getting buckets then. I first realized I was going to be really good when I was uh, ninth grade summer. College just started to look at me. I started to get better. Got my boy JB, Georgia, representing. I am Georgia. I'm JB, Jalen Brown, Mr. Georgia Basketball from Marietta, Georgia. As long as I can remember, I've been playing basketball. I got pictures when I was little, when I had a ball in my hand as a baby. So I've been playing this basketball as long as I can remember, as far back as it goes. I didn't think I was that good, but ESPN put me like in the top 20 in my freshman year. I think they put me like 19. So I was like, wow, I don't even think I'm that good right now. And they put me in the top 20. So I said, if I, if I work, and I get better, what, what could I be then? So that's what started me to start working and stuff. Freshman year, I was about 6'2", six 6'3", six and I was like 160 pounds. I was, I was thin, I was skinny, and Malik probably remembered me back there. Freshman year, I had big head. Oh, yes. I was, I was bow-legged, it was crazy. <laughs> Still bow-legged. Nah, nah, chill, chill. Well, I was born in Shreveport, Louisiana, but uh, I'm from Jackson, Mississippi, and you know, it was, I had a ball in my hand since diaper days. You know, my mom played, my dad played, so, you know, it's just always been in the family. I think it's going to be one of the one of the fun games that we have, and since it's been our last game, I think everyone's going to get out there and, you know, compete and go after each other. When I heard I was selected for the game, I was in school, and uh, one of my friends told me, and I got hyped, and I was turned in class, and all the teachers were happy for me, and all the students were happy. Terminal 23 is crazy. Jordan everywhere. Is I'm just blessed to be here. Uh, I think I worked my butt off to get here. And it's like no other. The gym is crazy. You got like the floor is like iced out. Uh, you hear playing against the top players in a in a in a country, and then you got people watching. You got scouts watching. You got everybody watching who, who matters. So hey, the experience is like no other. Like if you're not here, you better work to get here whenever you can. It's a real good experience, just because you know all the alumni who's played, you know, have went on to be number one draft picks, you know, or all-stars of the league, so I'm just trying to follow that route. What motivates me to play basketball, just the thought of being great, you know, greatness when you look at Michael Jordan and Kobe and players like that, you know, just to be great. And I'm not, I'm not like, I don't play basketball for the money or for the fame, but, you know, it's something I love to do. Even if we wasn't getting paid or anything like that, I would still continue to play basketball the same way I do now. I feel like there's a chip on my shoulder every time I step on the floor and I'm gonna try to prove it. No matter who's on the floor, I don't care who's watching me, I don't care who's in the gym. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to get it in. That's just what, that's just what I do. Me, me, and me. I wouldn't be honest if I wouldn't say I don't think I'm the best player on in, on in the country. That's just me, me, and me. I have that type of confidence in myself. But hey, Ben is a dog. He's a, he's a good player. I just don't, I don't think he's good. I don't think he's better than me. The shoe game right there. We call these the, uh, the I don't knows. <laughs> hey, hey, bro, what, what are those? What are those? Like I don't know, man. Oh, for real? Where you get those at? Where you get those? At? I don't know, man. <laughs> that's what they call it. The I don't know is like, it's one of my favorites. And I'm gonna show you what we got for the, for the Jordan brand classic, you know. We got, we got some heat. We got the, uh, the Looney Ones. I don't know what these is. I'll call them Georgetown 11s. The Georgetown 11s, I guess, yeah. They all right, you know what I'm saying? Some light, kick it in. Yeah. And we got the, uh, these icy right here. Y'all ready for these? these? These clean right here. You got these, the, uh, all white fives, anniversary five. It just cold on touch, like you know. Hey, you probably won't ever see these. And then say the best for last, you know, my personal favorite. You know, <laughs> hey, right here, these <laughs> right here. Hey, these right here. Ain't no joke, boy. Bro, light. You know what I'm saying. Bro, when I be walking around in these, I be, uh, I be strutting. <laughs> He got the best shoe game. But Who I got, got the best basketball game? Go ahead, tell the camera. I got the best basketball game. He got the best shoe game. 
Okay. Y'all just seen him lie to the camera, just. I got the most one foot bounce. He got the most foot, two foot bounce. I disagree. Hey, if y'all didn't know, this is my son right here. I, I want him to be like me when he grow up. But uh, that's what you got to get, boy. Slam, All-American. Just got that with the brown. Something like, you know what I'm saying? Something like, like that. He got his hair like me. No, he don't. He tried to walk that like... Is a, that is a, what is that? A he, box? He tried to walk That's like a, me. Bro, hey, he walk, he walk hey, like this. Hey, <laughs> sit down while I'm talking, no, he, boy. He, he, he walk like that. Hey, sit down. Those big muscles. Hey, sit it down, boy. Bro, hey, so, so hey come here. All right, I think I'm funny. <laughs> I think I'm I think I'm going to be a comedian. Forget this basketball stuff. I think I'm hilarious. But everybody else, they don't think so. No. So I'm going to tell a joke. Knock knock. Who there? Nobody. Nobody who? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Say I'm sitting in the room, chilling, like a villain. Yo, head like Krillin. I'm watching TV. Don't play me. I'm on the bars and I got them cars up uh, and I'm a star like. I'm a star, like the sun. This right here, Malik, he my son. Uh. Mm. <laughs> That's the truth. And now I don't even rap, and I don't got no booth, but I'm knocking too, so on the beat. I ain't in the streets, and ooh, why you stop? See, I'm nice, I'm multi-talented. I play basketball, but that's not, that's just something like, I can sing too, I can dance, I can you juggle. Can Come on, man, you can't give them everything. You can't give them everything, man. Come on now, that, that's enough. You got my family, my sister, my dad, mom, Hi. both actors, you know what I'm saying? Tell them what you've been Michael in. Michael Beasley, been in flight, Las Vegas, Bloodline, Contraband, yada, yada, yada. And my mom. And I just finished shooting with Christian Hayden, Hayden Christian and Kate Bosworth. I'm in Hunger Games 2, Catching Fire, and Bad Lieutenant, a lot of Mystic Rising. <laughs> and I got my sister, she models, play basketball, sings, and all that. And, and play then. guitar, and play piano, all right, all right, all right. and get a Stop. sports time. Yeah, we have a pretty talented family, you know, the Beasleys, that's what we do. Good day at practice, we're ready for the game tomorrow, ready to kill. We're so excited for them, hope we're ready for the game. Yeah, this is um, a once in a lifetime experience, live in the moment and just have fun, and being here is tremendous. My dad, he used to play overseas for Dominican Republic, um, Puerto Rico. Chile and many other teams like that, and he taught me how to stay humble and be hungry at the same time. I feel like a lot of people sleep on Atlanta. Absolutely, hey, they can sleep. Let them sleep, though. I'm not tripping. And I, hey, I, I feel like us two, we represent Atlanta. We really well. We treat the city like some shoulder pads. We put it on our back, and hey, we uh, we both going to Division One, yeah. and hopefully uh, we both end up in the league. I know I am. I don't know. I'm just kidding. I, 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 I just say, just say, here you go. Here it is. All the matchups is good just because, you know, we all the top players in the country, so we just trying to compete and get better. Uh, that's one of my close friends, and he think he's the best guard in the country, and I think I'm the best guard in the country. So every time we get on the floor with each other, we're going to try to prove to each other who's better. So, you know, today I might have got the upper hand on him. Uh, in the game, looking forward to most of just going out there and having fun and be able to represent my city. But from now on out, I'm just wherever I play at, you don't care if it's from the, the park, uh, on the outside goal, whatever, I'm trying to just kill. This experience has been great. You know, I want to thank Jordan Brand for selecting me out of the 24 to play in this game. You know, it's in my backyard, so you know, I just can't wait till tomorrow to go out there and showcase my talent. You know, it's not my first time playing the NBA arena. I just got back from Portland where I played at the um, Blazers, the Blazers arena. But you know, I love, you know, gotta get used to it if that's something I wanna do in the near future. All right, basketball, basketball to me is like a, is like a drug. I'm addicted. Every time I'm on the floor, I try, to, I try to take advantage because you know, it's a privilege to be honest. So when I'm on the floor, it's like, it's like love at first sight, like poetry in motion. So uh, I love to play the game and, and hopefully I can play it for a long time because when I'm not, I feel without. Basketball is what I do, but it's not who I am, but I, I love the game.
Alla kassor. Wait, wait, wait.